Hey everyone. I, I, everyone's ready. I call the meeting to order. Uh, first thing is the presentation of the 2023 fiscal year audit. Jacob, you're on. Great. Thanks, everyone. I'll be pretty quick today, but just let me know if uh, you have any questions or anything else you want me to go through. Um, we're presenting financial statements for the December 31, 2023 year end for Water Street. Our auditor's report shows an unmodified opinion on the financial statements. That is the highest level of assurance we can provide on them. In the financial statements themselves, you'll see during the year, there was about six and a half million dollars of revenue from the city and contributions, about 4.7 million operating expenses. Um, related to the project, resulting in an increase in that position of 1.8 million. And that results in that cash balance you have at year end of two and a half million um, with about 200,000 in liabilities to get to that ultimate net position of 2.3 million. And I believe that's around that number that was approved for remittance last month. In the statements, in the footnotes to the statements, you'll see we do have a subsequent event um, acknowledging that intent to remit the remaining assets to the city. And then in the back of the statements, you'll see our required report um, due to this being a yellow book audit in accordance with government auditing standards. We have to report on the internal controls over financial reporting. And in our audit and understanding the controls, we didn't identify any material weaknesses or significant deficiencies in, in, our, in internal control that would require reporting. Along with the financial statements, we issued two documents, um, one being the required communications letter that we're required to report to you as governance um, about the audit itself. Um, really the contents of that letter just state that there were no issues in uh, performing the audit or audit adjustments that we need to make you aware of. And lastly uh, is our letter acknowledging the public authorities law related to investment guidelines. Um, through December, everything was currently held in cash. There were no investments of the corporation. Um, so this was not relevant. Any questions or anything you need me to address on these? No, thank you. Uh, appreciate the first comment of how everything was done very well. The highest the quality. The highest quality of, so that's that's appreciated. Uh, Excellent. Jacob, before you hang up, I got a question. Nate, do you have sure. any questions? No. Not on this. Do, do we have to make a motion here to start the dissolution process? I, I saw what you sent me, and I didn't get a chance to go through it, but I was going to guess that we need board approval to start the dissolution process first. Yeah, you can uh, go through that, but there are a couple uh, board-required approvals. Um, and then following that, there's a process to go through with the state. Um, at some point, it would probably be advised to get some legal counsel to ensure that you're buttoned up on the legal side of closing that up. Okay. But yes, there will be some uh, board approval required. So I won't do any of that yet until I get everything documented and run it through the attorneys and then we'll follow the guidelines that's in that brochure you yeah. said. Yep. And I think we could do this as a, not with no assets, since I'm going to move the cash all back to the city, there'll be nothing left. What I was going to do is work on an agreement with you and Greg on what that dollar value is to do the final audit. Yep. Keep that in there and that, that'll be it. Or maybe can I, what do you suggest there? I mean, it's yeah. a minimum, minimal amount of money. Yeah, and we could work out something to pay that uh, that we would 
traditionally handle as something like a retainer um, with the assumption that that would cover the, the costs of the audit. Um, and that shouldn't be an issue unless some extreme circumstances arise. Okay. Does anyone else have any questions for Jacob? And again, thank you. All right. Thank you all. Thank you. I don't think we have any old business left on here, do we? No old? No. No. Any new business? Well, this is just pretty much what you're talking about. Do we have to vote to transfer the money, or are we just going to turn? You already voted to, to transfer. Move. Now, that number may change them with interest, okay? It may be more than what we originally thought. Okay. That's good because I well I guessed in interest when I did this and well you have a final like you said yeah. you have a final number right and get there what I told them this morning you know, the number I have in mind is less than what they normally charge us so you may have to negotiate down with me <laughs> but, you're getting good at that <laughs> very good practice yes practice makes perfect okay uh, update on the Water Street parking ramp project. Um, as of today, uh, the original plan was to have the erection start mm -hmm. on April 15th. That is not going to happen. I believe a May 1st time frame is very realistic. Um, we've got a lot of, we've got a lot of struggles with the fact with Pike leaving and CJS McLaren and the city trying to be that project manager, which really fell back on Ron and I to make all this stuff work. And um, giving it, here's a perfect example is, Pike knew they had to put a transformer in, but they never coordinated that with the engineers, okay? Two weeks ago, as we're going through this, we have to put a vault in to drop a uh, transformer in. The transformers, transformer that's going in is only going to be the size enough to handle the garage. But the vault has to be big enough to handle the, um, if they put housing on the top, because they put a different transformer in. Um, so it's just like one thing after another. Then how, how do you get the vaults done? Now, everyone's been helpful, whether it's WH Lane has been working with us. Uh, Essential Construct has been working on doing the Vasco stuff. The engineers have been helpful and NYSEC has been helpful. So, I mean, every day there's something else that pops up. I think we got them all rectified and every, there, there may be two small change orders yet to go, but I think everything is out there and we'll be, all the foundations will be buttoned up by April 15th. Basca should have everything done by May 1st. And when we do the um the erection of the garage, that's when the crane comes that can do the cooling towers, or is it oh, separate? They can't. The crane that's going to do the erection cannot do the cooling towers because of the reach. They have mm -hmm. a hundred and seventy-five foot reach. This is or, yeah, hundred and seventy-five. Theirs is hundred and seventy-eight, and they don't think there's enough hundred and sixty-eight, but they don't think there's enough wiggle room there to push it back to where they have to go. So we had to contact contract with Rogers to. They're gonna do it. When are those going up? Yeah. When are they going up? When's Rogers doing it? Yeah. We're hopeful between April fifteenth and May first. Okay, and then it gets them out of there before that. Got it. They, they could Rogers can actually be there when they're erecting. Okay. Okay. Because it's a, it's not no longer needs to be in the same place. Yeah. Got it. So these walls, how do they have to be? Uh, they're concrete. And Thick? I mean, how are they? What's that? The precast? The, the vaults for the trans? Yes, the vault is being made by uh, Binghamton Precast, mm -hmm. and it's actually not that expensive. I should was shocked. It's like six hundred dollars. What? Oh, yeah, for the vault. No kidding. Because we could use them for the vaults for funerals. Yes, for cemeteries, they're more than that, and they probably charge you more than that. You're one hundred percent correct. <laughs> And they'll never be used. Nobody ever complains. Well, here's the bad part: is it five? I think it was five ninety to build that. It's five hundred to deliver it. Oh well, we'll get Jerry Jerry Rogers to bring him with him. <laughs> sure. And then they could just drop him down five, to the ground. It was five hundred dollars to get it delivered and placed. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what are you gonna do? 
Right. <laughs> and did it on two-week terms, so I came. Well, he's, a, he's a good guy. Oh, Jerry. Well, Jerry, but yeah, he's, and he's and the Abbey's too. Yeah. Well, and the bid, the, all the bid documents for the GC was a. Ron and I hopefully have that finalized tomorrow. That should be in the uh, press early next week. The remaining bids hopefully go out in two weeks. So. Sounds good. We had to do a couple of change orders to make things work and not the delay claims on the precast could be pretty substantial. I think it's like $50,000 a day. And I've worked closely with them and keeping the owner and labs of what we're doing. And the delay claims won't happen unless we get to the elevator. We get the uh, crane here and they can't use it. So as long as I keep them going where we stand on it, they've been pretty diligent and worked with us and we had to do a change order where they have, they don't do this, but usually it's a general contractor. They have to set a path up for the crane to go through, depending on like where everything is, all the foundations are built and they got to build that path. So we had to do a change order through Unistress to get that done instead of the general contractor. So learned a lot more than you thought you'd ever learn. I, Know a lot about building. And thank you, and thank you very much. You know, On behalf of a grateful city, your new career will be very uh, bountiful. <laughs> yes, I'll buy you your hard hat. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions, anybody? Nate? Um, I'm wondering. Uh, what's the so this? We're not moving the money at this meeting, right? We we already oh, agreed. agreed to, we already agreed to move. Some amount of money. I don't know what it is, Nate. Okay. That number may not be exactly the, the same number that it was due to different reasons, which I'm when I get those this month's interest rate or see what the end interest is, I'll get that number and see what it is. So that that moves and that was like what was holding up the dissolving the corporation. Is that say that again? We're the watershed development corporation, my understanding was that the, the money had to be transferred and then they would be like dissolved. Or... Yes, yes. Let's just say there's $2 million left yeah, yeah. in the Water Street development. We will move that money back to the city. Which would be used for the parking. Yes, yes. It's coming right back out of the same account right. that it went into. And, and the number's right around $2 million, I believe. But I, once I get, I'll get the interest statement on the April 1st and we'll figure it all out. And, start this process of dissolving it. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I sent it, I sent the documents to Sophie today after Jacob sent them to me and I, I briefed at them. It's there's a process to go through. I've done it before in a private sector. It's you know working with the Department of State and things. It's it's all about board. So yeah, it's all about the doc documentation of everything and this is what it all to do. Oh, I got Okay, motion to adjourn. Motion. Second, second third, fourth, fifth, sixth. <laughs>